I'm Val Huber. And I'm Max Dardivo. And today we're going to show you a new way to develop business applications using JPA and Hibernate. Specifically, the transactional business logic. Because it takes too long and it's just too hard. The trouble is, this is 50% of your application, so things really count. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a sample application. I just happen to have the obligatory cocktail napkin here. It's a five-line spec, clear to everybody. Let's build this the traditional way and see what we find. Okay, Max, a five-line spec. You built it in Java. How was it? Well, it turned out to be about 500 lines of code. Oh, my goodness. And there were some design decisions that we had to make. And there were some surprising maintenance problems. For such a simple problem, just five business rules, basically, uh, it turned out that there was actually quite a bit of uh, dependencies in the code. So we've been here a long time, right? From the days of COBOL all the way through Java, we've been having these, like, simple spec giant program. So you looked a little bit more carefully for the root cause. I did. What did you find? What I found is that about 90% of the code is really about the how and the when. How to do things and when to do them. How to propagate changes. How to manage dependencies. And the problem, of course, with this is that, as we all know, as the problem gets more complex, these problems tend to bloom. They're essentially n squared. It uh -huh. gets worse and worse. So fundamentally, what you're talking about are the symptoms of a procedural approach. You're, you're spelling out to the computer in detailed steps how and when to do things. And that's not automatable. The problem is <laughs> you're telling the computer what to do step by step. Really, the computer has no idea what your ultimate goal is. It doesn't know what you mean. So all it can really do is execute the program that you gave it. Exactly. So if the problem is a procedural problem, what we need to do is move to a declarative solution. So it's kind of like a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet is declarative in that you don't tell the spreadsheet how to compute things. You just tell it what the data means. Hmm. And nobody in their right mind would actually write a Visual Basic program to do that. No, I don't think that. That would be a bit of a laugher, wouldn't it? And actually, I like the metaphor because if you think about a spreadsheet, you give a cell, a cell formula that maybe refers to a column, and any change in this column is reflected back in the cell value. Whether you insert something or delete something or change something, all those changes are reflected. So the mental model of a spreadsheet is you give an expression that remains true for all changes. As it turns out, that's exactly the same as our little sample uh, order entry application. Our little cocktail napkin was nothing more than a series of expressions that should remain true for all transactions. Adding orders, deleting orders, paying orders, all those things are covered by this simple list of expressions. So, what we provide is not a spreadsheet, but a business logic engine that plugs into Hibernate, responding to all the update events from it. So you can actually take these five expressions and feed them directly into the business logic engine, so it will take care of all the ordering, the optimization, right. the dependencies, so you don't have to worry about it. Exactly. Providing for the organization, the agility, five rules, and the transparency, five rules that are readable, in an architecture that's very high performance and a very low barrier to entry. Okay, let's summarize. So it's pretty obvious that the traditional approach to writing transactional business systems is just too hard and too slow. Right. And that's simply because it's procedural. We've been doing the same thing for years, since the days of COBOL. It's really time for a declarative approach. Exactly. And that's why we provide automated business logic. There's a download on the website. Try it. It includes this example. Let us know what you think. Thanks very much. Thanks.